We're learning how to be a good sport with Etiquette 101. Temper tantrums and bad behavior can spoil any kind of match. Moving from the yoga studio to the dojo, let's discover why etiquette is so important when it comes to martial arts. No other sport is as connected to etiquette as martial arts. In basically every modern discipline, manners make up a key cornerstone. The etiquette in martial arts can be summarized in one word, and that word is respect. All forms of etiquette in martial arts stem from or are rooted in behavior or actions that, that stem from respect. The most prominent physical demonstration of etiquette in martial arts is the bow. It not only matters how you bow, it also matters when. The primary aspect of the bow is the, is, the, is the most significant. It occurs as soon as the person comes into the training hall or dojo. They bow upon entering the facility. They bow before leaving the facility. They bow before entering the matted area and before leaving. They bow to the flag. They bow to the uh, instructor. The, and the instructors bow to the students. Um, the participants bow to their training partners and they also bow to acknowledge the, uh, the presence of a high-ranking uh, grandmaster. But one thing that stays the same is why bowing is so important. Some people see it as a, uh, some act of submission or uh, a religious act, and it's, it's not. The bow is a uh, visible and physical demonstration of somebody's commitment to live by and show others honor, courtesy, special consideration, and high value. Outside the bow, martial arts practitioners also need to be concerned with attire. Everyone, the, as far as etiquette goes, is required to keep their uniforms clean, um, neat, and um, have their belts tied. And again, here's another situation in which the bow comes in. If a student's uh, uniform becomes uh, somewhat disheveled because of wrestling with another participant, they turn to their left, uh, fix their uniform and their belt, and then turn back and face uh, their partner or the instructor. And as in all other sports, they've got to be concerned with safety. Martial arts, all the things that we do here, the skills that you develop, can be very dangerous and can inflict injury. And you want to be able to learn those skills and practice those skills with a partner and, and not hurt them. As your skills develop and your partner skills develop, you can practice them at a higher intensity, but both being concerned with the primary aspect of your partner's safety. Well, thank you so much, Mark, for sharing your knowledge of martial arts etiquette. It's been my pleasure, Janelle. Thank you. Everybody, Kyotsuke, Ray. Respect! Well, that's it for this edition of Etiquette 101. We hope you enjoyed the show. Now get out there and play fair. Hey! Hey, hey, oh, oh.